Hello everyone and welcome back to Deadly Premonition, this time for part 15. And we're starting a new episode, but let's get a bit of a recap. Previously during the investigation. Okay then, Zack. Let's pay Harry another visit and get to the bottom of all this. And that one. That, and that one too. All red seats. Welcome, York. The killings 50 years ago. There is something about it that you won't find written in those files. The people were attacking and killing each other. Rampaging as though insane. Quite a story. York, I told you. It's nothing more than local folklore. What does that all mean? It's called the legend of the new raincoat killer. York, we found Thomas. Zach. Okay, so it's not bonus footage. It's still part of the main feature. Perpetrator is exactly who I thought it was. Is it though? Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, I, I must be dreaming. Knocked out on the floor, and here I am. Dad. Playing as little Babby York. Come on, boy, or it'll be too late. Okay. All right. Hold up, Dad. Okay, oh, this is a little bit different. Is this as fast as I can go? Little baby steps, I suppose. <laughs> you got longer legs than that? Come on! Stop shuffling, start striding. Oh dear, okay, right. Dad? <laughs> can I get like a piggyback or something? Seriously, this is as fast as I can go, and I'm not even using any stamina, you know? No raised heart rate at all. I'm just not trying. Dad? Dad? Come on, boy, or it'll be too late. So maybe this is me just dreaming as I'm knocked out as Thomas dances over my soon-to-be corpse. Hmm, Thomas. I, I still don't know what to make of that, to be honest. I don't know if he's the new raincoat killer. I think this might be... A bit of a bamboozling, to be honest. A bit of a red herring. I was certain it was, like, that George had something to do with it. Dad? Dad? I'm still more suspicious of him. Come on, boy, or it'll be too late. Hmm. I don't think I'm ever catching up with him, am I? <laughs> at best, we're going at the same sort of speed. As the ivy continues to spread. Oh shit, what? I've lost him. Dad? Where did you go? I do some. I do see something in the distance though. Dad? Some... Dad? Yeah, uh, he Come just disappeared. On, boy, or it'll be too late. Or did he? When I wasn't looking, he just hid behind a tree, I bet. Yeah, what is that? It's only blue, so it can't be terribly important, but still. Brian Zander Morgan. Oh, okay. Oh, that's my father. Got ya. Are we ever going to see the top half of his face in the light? <laughs> Probably not. Probably not. Dad? Dad? Hmm. Come on, boy, or it'll be too late. This dream is turning into a bit of a nightmare, isn't it, really? With $200 trading cards. Nowhere to be found. All alone in the forest. Daddy? Daddy? No. Poor little guy. That isn't Daddy. That isn't Thomas, is it? Oh no, no. Emily? Are you okay? Right. I am now. Although you are looking a little bit like a goddess of the forest, which I'm not okay with. Come on, snap back to reality, York. It's uh, it's time to wake up. You're in trouble. Willy? Is Kaysen around here as well? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. 
All right. <laughs> Maybe it's not such a nightmare anymore. <laughs> okay. So, oh, here we are. Oh boy. Oh, the gang's all here. Hmm. There will be a fourth, though, right? That's the idea. That's the plan. <laughs> Wait. You are waiting here for someone, aren't you? The person you are waiting for will be here soon. Hmm. I hope not, really. Oh. No. The hell is going on? Oh shit. It might be time to go, York. Yeah, there's no fixing that. Grandpa, wake up! Oh! Grandpa, hey! Oh, Emily. Uh, sorry, my dear, I must have fallen asleep. Is that some coffee yeah, next to him? Napping for today. Tell me the rest of the story. Yes, uh, of course. I think it might be. That was our promise, wasn't it? Before I continue on, though, I've got a little gift I want to give you. Wow. It's pretty. Hmm. Consider it a protective charm. Like a signpost. It will help to lead you through your life. A signpost? One day, my dear, you will find out one of the truths of this world. That the world is filled with contradiction and inequality. When that day comes, <laughs> how you respond, what do you do? That will be the instant that determines the value of your life. This pendant will show you the way in that moment. The value of my life? Yes, dear. The value. Of your life. <laughs> I have faith that you will grow up into a woman who can make the right choices. Do you understand, Emily? So there you go. It's an old Francis York Morgan. I always suspected it, but it's nice to have it confirmed. Right! Here we are, back to reality. This is me now. We come toward the climax. As the angel said, I was soon fated to meet him. Oh boy. What do you think of those dreams, Zack? <laughs> so I do care for Emily. You what about do? you? We should take this opportunity and talk about this a bit. <laughs> well, what other choice do you have, right? <laughs> what was he going to be doing? If I hadn't seen your come into the bar, ah. well, you wouldn't have found this place, would you? Now, how about that? I guess I've always been lucky when luck was needed. That's why I've been able to stay in business, too. Although we have Willie to thank for finding this room, I suppose. Is that why he was in my dream? He's got a great nose. Clever, too. He'd be a great businessman if he wanted to be. <laughs> I believe it. I owed you guys one anyway. And I owed York big time, too. You guys didn't tell anyone about that whole thing with Diane. Not yet. I want to help you guys out. Is there anything I can do? Kason, I appreciate the offer. But this is a police matter. You can leave everything to us from here. Oh, well, okay. George, look. You found something? Nope. The pendant? Oh. These cigarettes. They're the same brand that York smokes. He's definitely been here. Hmm. Carol's been missing since the bar closed last night. No. Uh -oh. This town will be deserted if this keeps up. Well, let's hope it doesn't keep up. What do you think is really happening here in Greenvale? Emily, let's focus on looking for York. I just hope there are more leads than a cigarette butt around here. There should be. Has he just found another one? <laughs> I must be somewhere nearby. Alright. Oh. 
Hey, Willie, of course. You can track his scent, can't you, boy? What do you think, officers? Let him help you out, why don't you? Oh, he'd make a fine police dog. <laughs> I told you we don't need... It sounds good, Kaysen. We need all the help we can get. It's better than nothing. Come on, George. Let's let them help us. Right. But they are civilians. Do you have a better plan? <laughs> As we speak, York might be... <sighs> oh, she does care. How cute. And I think so does George, in his own little way. <laughs> I still don't know what to make of that guy. I still think he's involved. Oh, all right. Let's have them help. Mm, okay. Thank you, George. But one thing. With York missing in action, I'm back in charge. And York would give me hell if something bad happened to you guys. So promise me you'll call for backup at the first sign of danger. Yes, of course. I think we're missing something here. So I'm going to look around a bit longer. You go with Kaysen and follow York's trail. Thank you, George. We're counting on you, boy. Mm. Welcome to the force, Deputy Willie. <laughs> Give him a badge and everything. Okay. Yeah, so I, I must be somewhere nearby. <laughs> Let's get rolling, then. Hmm. Okay. I'm counting on you, Willie. Really? <laughs> Don't bite oh, your tongue. Not counting on me, though, are you? Sheesh. Well, not really, no. <laughs> What's this? What? Okay. So we're now playing as Emily. Is this the soundtrack that plays in her head when she's, you know, on the job? All right. <laughs> okay. She's pretty fit by the looks of it. Much like young York, no stamina problems. None at all. I can't be back in, you know, his apartment, right? Look at all that honor back there. Oh! Where are you going, Willie? Okay. What's it gonna be? That way? We're going this way. Sure. Kazen, I'm surprised you're keeping up. I'm impressed. Okay, I assume we're going to be cutting across here. Yeah, okay. He's <laughs> he doesn't want to jaywalk, of course, so... <laughs> right. Wasn't this the street that um, Anna's mother lived on? Oh, there was something up with this house as well. Right, what's going on here? Maybe this is where I am. Not too far away from the bar. Maybe I could have been driven here or dragged here and nobody would have noticed. Left, go left. All right, or oh, straight on, it's one of those. Oh, it's to the right, oh shit, okay. A little invisible street, was that what it <laughs> Okay. I love that dog's running animation as well. It, it just doesn't look right. Not from this angle. Everything about this game is just off. One of these? One of these houses here, surely. He can be a little selfish, but he's a good dog. He stayed with me all this time. Through all the good and the bad. Good boy, Willie. Together. Oh, we go back a long time. I can't even remember a time when he wasn't around. I had a dog when I was small, too. Oh, yeah? He was a beagle, so we named him Bee. <laughs> Stupid name, I know. He hated being left alone and always followed me around. I could tell him anything, even things I couldn't tell my parents. Such as? He'd look into my eyes and listen intently to anything I had to say. It's like he sympathized, and he didn't make fun of me. He would just listen. When I was done talking, he'd put a paw on my thigh. My worries just faded away when he did that. Made me feel like I was just a fool for worrying so much. <laughs> Dogs are great that way. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
Sometimes I think they got a lot more wisdom than us humans. Even if they are betrayed, well, they don't see it that way. Sure sounds foolish, but you know dogs, why they're always happy. I'm positive that even if man perishes off the face of the earth, dogs, why they'll just carry on regardless. <laughs> they see everything, you know. From their dog houses, they look out and they see what humans do. Kason. Shut the fuck up, Kason. Is that what you're gonna say? Oh look, Deputy Willie's calling for us. Yep. He's always like that. Let's get back to the chase. Sure. That's enough philosophizing for today. <laughs> Let's go! Yeah! So, um, are we heading for the diner? Maybe one of these homes? Oh. The school? I'm just trying to think of all the areas nearby. I mean, the sheriff's office, possibly. Now, why is there a gap there? Are you gonna go right there? Oh, maybe. <laughs> we'll load and find out. Oh? Oh, here we are. Okay. Uh, so, whoa. Uh, hello. Thomas, I know that you're there. Your disposition is not of my concern. But you do need to stop this. Untie me. Let me go. Right now. And you and Carol should take off. Go as far away as you can. Open a bar or a diner in a new town. Mm. With your cooking, I know you do well. Oh boy. Hello. Why, thank you, York. You're so kind. Unlike him. Him. If I had someone like you, things may not have come to this. York, have you ever been in love with someone? Thomas, a long time ago, I witnessed two people that I really cared about die. Both pretty much at the same time. And since then, I've tried not to care about anyone so deeply. But recently, that way of thinking has changed. Mm. Emily, right? Correct. She's a nice girl. But I must warn you, York. No? Oh. You'd be better off not falling in love with her. Why is that? Thomas, considering the circumstances, whatever I say might not be important to you, but I'll say it anyways. Don't you dare touch Emily. Hmm. She is not going to be the fourth. York, I think I've said too much. It's natural to respond when someone talks to you, I guess. Everything will end tonight. You just stay there until then. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Shit. Well, Emily, Forrest, and Willie are on the case. They're going to get me out of this one, right? I had a brief look around the room and I didn't see anything that I could, you know, use, so... Hmm. <laughs> okay. Just out of interest, you know, I don't know how long this section's gonna last, but can we have a look at Emily's items and stuff like that? Like, okay. Okay. So she's got a first aid kit, small, medium, she's got a flare. No main or, or, or side mission stuff, but yeah, alright. I was just curious. Are we going to the sheriff's office? It seems too obvious, but maybe I was dragged into one of the cells or wait, no, over here. Where next, boy? Thing is, I've been around this town so many times and I've smoked a few times as well, so he might be following the trail from me on day two. Or three. Or oh. Okay. <laughs> Are we going in? What's wrong? Something's bothering you. Oh no, it's just... I promised to have tea with, with Polly. I just remembered. Mm. What's that got to do with anything? Yep, you're right. This just isn't the time, I know. But it's... Well, she reminds me of my mother who passed away. Kason. I've been a salesman for a long, long time. I never had time to talk with my mother, you know. Sales, they were the thing for me. No matter what happened, this was more important. So 
Even when she was sick, I put more energy into my work, which I regret now. And you know, when I heard she died, I was, I was on my way home, all happy. I closed a big deal in Jersey. Just when you want to give something back, you got no one to give it back to. Well, that, that's when I met her, Polly. I thought heaven had given me another chance. I really did. So I always stay in that hotel whenever I come up here. Oh, sure, the rooms are great, but, but in all honesty, I go there because I want to talk with Polly. Does Polly know all this? Hmm. No, no way. I'd never say anything so embarrassing to her. She'd think I've got some crazy mother complex. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look. Willie's back on the scent. Right, let's get going. Yep. Deputy Willie disapproves of any chit-chat. Absolutely. I'll make it up to Polly some other time, I guess. Hmm. <laughs> Every time that music starts. Where are we going? That way, okay. Are we just heading all the way back to the bar? Is that going to be the thing that we do? I, hmm. The general store? Alfred's general store? Uh, yeah, maybe it's somewhere we've never been before. Come on. Oh no. What's it going to be? Back to York? Yeah, looks like it. Zach, I'm hungry, but it, I can't do much about that at the moment. Thomas is certainly a great cook. <laughs> it's a shame to keep his cooking hidden out here in the countryside. Don't you think so, Zach? Ugh. Which reminds me, there's another great cook in town. Oh, yeah? To fall in <gasps> love with her would mean that I would need to love her cooking, too. <laughs> Why does God test us so, I wonder? That coffee she made. <laughs> Man, did that pack a punch. I wish you could have tasted it, Zach. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, it did lead you to another clue. And a, a nice fishing trip. And that's that. That's that. Okay. <laughs> Back to the chase, I suppose. Come on. That's it. Keep going. Yeah. Left or right? We're going left! Okay, we might be going to the diner. Maybe. Dunno, you're gonna cross the road? Yes, you are. And then again? Yes, you are! Okay. It says closed, but hmm. We'll see about that. Yeah, let's take the back entrance, boy. Wait, wait. Okay. What's up? I see. Maybe I was in the trunk of the car. It's only a hunch now, but I don't think Nick killed Diane. No, I don't think so. What do you mean? I don't think Me it was Diane, Thomas, though. We were, you know, pretty close. I'm sure some people might have moral issues about it all, but I'd like to think that I knew her pretty well. Every time we, we finished talking, she'd bring up art. I'd make a face, you know, boring. And she'd always say, you're so different from Nick. He's so much more intelligent. <laughs> Sounds like something she'd say. Mm. Nick was one of the few people who she could talk to, you know. And vice versa for Nick, I suppose. Diane also told me that she was best friends with Nick. He'd have nothing at all to gain by killing her. I can't believe that one would try to kill the other. I just can't. Yeah. Even the best of friends can end up in the worst fights. Still, the voices and footsteps I heard that night, they were something else. Much more violent, more more horrifying. Diane's hmm. voice sounded different, too. Different. Hard to explain. Was it Diane? Of course, I, I couldn't make out what she was saying. You told York all this? Of course I did. What did he say? I, I know, that's fine. Something like that. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Anyway, Willie? Let's go then, and catch Diane's killer. Yeah. That's the idea. But let's save York first. Right, okay. Go on. Okay. <laughs> we are just taking a tour of the town at this point, aren't we? Why is he carrying that sapling around with him all the time? <laughs> Maybe it's the very same one that old York's got on the, uh, on the shelf with the little Emily, who 
evidently means a lot to him. Hmm. But what's going to happen to Emily? That's my biggest fear right now. I wonder if she's going to be the fourth goddess of the forest. What's it to be, boy? Okay, he wants to chat again, it looks like. Oh no, no, okay. Zach, about Emily. What about her? Don't you feel almost nostalgic looking at her? I don't think I've ever felt that way looking at a woman before. <laughs> no, I'm wrong. It's a long time ago now, though. Do you remember that incident, Zach? I think I do. I was very surprised when she came to my hotel room. Not in a funny way, don't get me wrong. It was really exciting, though. I thought I heard my heart thumping inside, you know? It's <laughs> inappropriate during an investigation. Right, Zach? Well, I wouldn't have told if you guys didn't. Okay, where are we going now? Uh, right, there he is. Okay, sure. <laughs> if I can't keep track of Willie, I at least can see Casey. Okay, so what's up this end of town? Hmm. I really think the dog's gonna go right soon. Oh, we're going back to the bar? No, we're not. No, we're not. Okay, somewhere around here? One of these buildings? In there? Am I in there? You, okay, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, this is going to be a long run. Hey, where are you going? Deputy Willie, he's over here. Come on, hurry. What? But I, I was following the dog! What? Maybe I was losing Kaysen or something, and he just wanted to whistle me back. Oh Christ, okay. <laughs> no jumping the gun in this section. Looks like there's going to be a lot of following people in this video. The train tracks? Oh boy. Which way? Straight across? Left? Right? Come on, deputy. Are you close to the Ingrams? No. I mean, well, I always say hi when I see them at their store. Don't you think they make a wonderful family? I guess so. Including Jim, I suppose they do. <laughs> Indeed they do. The ideal family, I'd say. You know that I look after Isaac and Isaiah pretty often, right? Mm. They talk a lot when I take them out. Yesterday, Mama and Papa, <laughs> and this morning, Grandpa. Always about their family. Just listening to them makes me feel so happy. I don't have any brothers, you know. Maybe I'm a little jealous of those two. That's why when I come here, I always pay them a visit. Greenvale is really like a second home to me. I can tell. <laughs> Here we go. Deputy Willie's calling again. Yeah. Enough about me. Let's get going. How about we have this conversation as we're chasing the dog? Two in one, you know? Multitask. He just wants a breather, I think. And I don't blame him. Have you seen the size For of For some reason in the darkness, I see Emily's face. Yes. When I first met her on the bridge, she looked so dignified. And that glimmer in her eyes when she argues every word I say. <laughs> Her blonde hair lit by the dawn. Heating steak in the diner. Giving me directions in the car. The horror on her face in the gallery. And that coffee she made. <laughs> a damn coffee. It's like she's a goddess in a tight dress. Zach, let's pray that she doesn't become a real goddess. No. Although I am wondering. <laughs> okay. Alright, we have moved on a little bit. Right. Oh, the clock tower, maybe? Back up there. What is this music? Really? What's the developer's name? I, I can't remember his actual name. It's Swery65, right? Like, how many drugs is he on? 
What's he taking? And can I have some? Because I think I want to have some <laughs> at this point. He's, uh, he's certainly inspired. Hmm, okay. No, not again. Hey, where are you going? Deputy Willie, he's I was here. fucking uh, following hurry. him! Again, I was jumping the gun maybe a little bit. Right. Alright. Willie! York is nearby? Let's hope so. Good job, Willie. Can we stop running now, please? Yeah. You've had your workout for the year. Bloody hell, yeah. Better not lag behind or jump the gun. Woo! Either he's getting slower or I'm getting faster. One of those. Whoa, look at that! No wonder I'm jumping the gun. I can always walk as fast as a running dog. That's amazing. Right. In there. And there it is. Hey, so we took the long route here. You weren't playing with us, were you? <laughs> George, we found out where York is. George? George! Rain interference, is it? <sighs> Kason, I'm going in alone. Oh boy. Hey, hey, you didn't forget what George said. No, I haven't. And that's why you get to stay out here and keep trying to contact him. I'm just going to check things out. I'll stay out of danger. Trust me. Hmm. Okay. Okay, if you say so. I'll take care of this here. I think you've just been listening to York a little bit too much about going in alone. Alright. So all I've got is the pistol. Okay. Am I going to see any zombies? <gasps> what? What is it? Oh, oh! Freeze! It's not just me. It's not just Stop in my right head. There. I have to shoot him a bit more than that. <gasps> what the hell? <laughs> she's only just realised. We're on part 15 and she's only just realised. Oh, bloody hell. Hello. York, Emily is here. Good. Time to say goodbye then. I'm not good. Let me tell you one more time. It's not too late. I can help you. Just untie me and let me go. If you don't, the situation will be irreversible. Unfixable. York, no situation is reversible. Didn't you know that? Everyone, everything proceeds along a path preordained by fate. Oh dear. Who told you that? Who is this him that you talked about? Goodbye, then. I wonder who will be the next person to open this door. Emily, hopefully. Well, whoever that person is will be the one to decide your fate. What if it's Willie? What if Willie opens the door? Zack, what was I supposed to say? All I can do now is wait. Yeah. Ooh, that assault rifle. <laughs> oh, here we go. All right. So yeah, this is this is crazy. I thought it was just happening to York, but evidently not. Let's take a quick look, shall we? Like, how big is this area? What are we going through? Uh, oh, mm. <laughs> uh, maybe let's do it when we're upstairs. I don't know. Uh oh. 
There we go. No, don't grab onto me. It's not happening. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. Well, I've got... I've got some, haven't I? I've got some medical supplies. <laughs> Wait right there. Thank you. There we are. Okay, and I'm going to have to use them right the fuck now. Okay, there we go. Let's not get shot by a shotgun again. That is, uh... That's not good. No bueno. Up here? Yeah, alright. There we are. Oh, look at that. Oh, if only I had that. I don't know, maybe one of the enemies around here is going to have an assault rifle. M16 or something. No, okay. Just doing my checks. <laughs> Seeing if I lock onto anything, you know. Here we are. Okay, moving on. It's, oh, yep. It's a pretty big tower, so we've probably got a few more floors to go through. A few more stairs to climb. Okay. Come on. No. Okay. Ah, oh, I don't know how I locked onto him up there, but that might be the next enemy we have to face. Nice. I actually did make him drop his shotgun, but I can't pick it up. Oh, bloody hell. Seriously, bloody hell. Just, just one by one. Oh, shit. Okay, yeah. I mean, it worked. And that didn't hurt me as much as I thought it would. <laughs> Alright, well, that's that taken care of, pretty much. Come on, all the way through here. Nice. Okay. What's this? Somewhere to save? Sleep and everything? What? Oh, oh, I've got to pick these up. Is it just that one, or...? Okay. Let's take another one, just in case. There might be like an infinite supply, honestly, but you know, I think taking another one's kind of greedy. Let's save. Just in case the worst happens. I die, or... God forbid, the game crashes again. And let's keep on looking for York. Mm-hmm, alright. Look at this. Ha! <laughs> Alright, so... No enemies to worry about. No one going to be popping out the walls or the floor. Doesn't look like it, to be honest. There he is. You sure took your time. <laughs> oh, shit. Thomas, you've got nowhere to run now. Just surrender yourself. Emily, I've been waiting for you. Where's York? Is he okay? <laughs> He's quite the handsome one, isn't he? I liked him the moment I saw him. He likes someone else, of course. Who do you think that is? Hmm? I'm asking you if he is okay. Answer me. Oh, yes. He is handsome. <laughs> but me and Carol, we love not him, but a different person. Who? My lovely G. Cut the crap. Do you Gina know or George? I do. All too well. 
far better than you do. It could be George. You know nothing about yourself, nor this town. Please don't make me shoot you. <laughs> You're a silly, sad little woman. We're heading for devastation. All of us. And no one can stop it. <laughs> Oh, Thomas, you're sick, but there's still time. We can get you help. I'll help you. You're too kind, Emily. As kind as a goddess. That's why he likes you. This town is soiled, and only you are shining in it. That's right, Thomas. Let's just leave here together. It was so much better back then. We had so much fun. Emily? Hmm? That was before you came. Oh dear. I won't let you have him! Oh dear. You filthy pig! pig, pig, pig. Shit. <laughs> what the hell is going on here? Nice dodge. Okay. He you didn't dodge that too well. Have it your way. I won't. I won't let you take him. I'll show you how serious I am. <laughs> I'll turn you into hamburger meat. Oh god. What sort of fucking insult is that? Right, okay. That hurts. Yeah, I bet it does hurt. I've been shooting you several times. <laughs> how are you feeling? Thomas, don't make me shoot again. Just do it. Surrender and turn yourself in. You've already turned him into Swiss cheese. <laughs> Emily. Emily, I... <laughs> Thomas. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh, wow. It might happen. That's enough, Thomas. Just... Come over here. <laughs> oh, Emily. Emily, I just... <laughs> I hate you so much. <laughs> Die, you skanky swine. Oh, God, he's gone. Shit, you skanky much. Get away. Get away from me. Good boy, really. Ooh. He is making a good police dog. Oh. Don't land on the dog. Don't land on the dog. I uh, see where this is going. Amazing. That must have been really, really sharp. Ah, choice. Oh, fucking hell! Jesus Christ, what a way to go! Oh my god! Oh! Is that Thomas hanging there? Yeah. Yeah, it oh is. Oh my god! He looks like a strung up jerky. <laughs> And that's where we leave it. Oh, was right! That a gunshot? Yes, it was. Several. I hope nothing terrible has happened. No. Not to Emily. She was hit a couple of times. And, you know, there was this explosion. Wait. <gasps> hey, boy! 
I knew it. <laughs> He's the first one through the door. Hey. <laughs> hey, Willie. Are you here with your owner? He is the best dog. All right, completely untied. Fantastic. Back in action. Now, yeah, let's go meet with Emily and Forrest, and let's see what happens to Thomas. All right. Okay, so what's this? First aid kit large? Well, I don't actually need it. Uh, how are we doing, like, inventory-wise? Was anything taken away from me? Uh, yeah, quite a few things, it looks like. Hmm, okay. Let's save. So I haven't actually got anything whatsoever at the moment. Okay. Well, let's just keep on heading down. I can hear the machinery, so we're not too far away. Oh, well, not too far away at all. It should be down here. There they are. God damn. Hey! York! Are you okay? I'm fine. Got to spend some quality time with Zack. I heard gunshots. Did you get our man? York. Thomas is dead. In the most crazy way. I shot him. He tried to kill me. Thomas. I suppose that this is the fate you talked about. <laughs> but Emily, what about the murderer? I just told you I had to shoot Thomas. Nah, it's not Thomas. Thomas's actions may have surprised you. I understand that. But our job is to catch the killer, isn't it? You didn't let the killer get away. York, are you saying that Thomas was not responsible for the murders? That's exactly what I'm saying. What? That makes no sense. Emily, are you out of your mind? <laughs> Thomas was certainly neck deep in this. But he didn't kill the girls. He has concrete alibis for all three murders. He also doesn't have the reverse peace symbol on his back. True. These are basic facts that for sure you haven't forgotten. Then who? I need you to be strong, Emily. If Thomas is not the killer, then there is only one other possibility. Is it George? The only one with free access to the department files. It is George. Who doesn't have an alibi at the time of the killings. Love G himself. George? <laughs> yes. George is the killer? I think so. And since when did you start thinking this? Part one. I wasn't sure to start with, but you saw the pictures, right? In that secret room in Carol's bar. That was when I became 100% positive. But George didn't have the tattoo on his back. No, he's just oh, got right. scars. He doesn't have a tattoo on his back. But there is a pattern there. What do you mean? Emily, I'm not saying that the pattern was the tattoo. Remember what Harry said. There isn't a single thing that can maintain its shape for eternity. And George's back is a perfect example. Hey, you two. Could you explain this so I can understand what's going on? <laughs> Emily, come in. Mm. There Emily he is. here. I've rescued Agent York from the clock tower. <laughs> Thomas is dead. I was forced to shoot him. I see. And you two are both all right? Uh, York is a little weak, but we're heading back to the department now. Okay. I'll do the same. So in his twisted little scenario, is Thomas the fourth goddess? Hmm.
Emily. Yeah. George is a friend of yours, isn't he? Yes. Then what we are about to do is going to be tough to deal with. Are you willing to go through with this? York, I'm Deputy Sheriff. This might be a small town, but I take pride in that. It's my duty to make sure that we catch all the bad guys in Greenvale. Even if it means facing an end that I would never have hoped for. Okay. Then let's get moving. Mm hmm This case is going to end at the Sheriff's Department. Alrighty then. Sounds like there's some finality to that. Maybe we're approaching the end of the game. This is madness. <laughs> really, come on. Let's go with them. Oh, absolutely. Chickening out now would be like leaving after eating the appetizers. Which you never do. <laughs> All right. Cat fight. Uh, there you go. All makes sense now, doesn't it? Well, there you go. Like a, a proper boss fight there. It was fairly easy, but I got through it. Who's getting the money? Emily? <laughs> 21 grand, nearly 22 grand, my goodness. Alright, that's going to end this video. Thank you very much for watching. Perhaps the next part is going to be the last part, I don't know. But it looks like next time we'll be confronting George and finding out what he's been up to. See you then. Oh, that's my father. Got ya. Are we ever going to see the top half of his face in the light? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> What's this? Kazen, I'm surprised you're keeping up. I'm impressed. The Invisible Street? Was that what it was? <laughs> Every time that music starts. What did he say? I, I know, that's fine. Something like that. <laughs> yeah, something like that. I really think that the dog's gonna go right soon. Oh, we're going back to the bar? No, we're not. No, we're not. Deputy Willie, he's over here! Come on, hurry! What? But I, I was following the dog! What? How many drugs is he on? What's he taking? And can I have some? No, not again. Hey, where are you going? Deputy Willie, he's I over here! I was fucking on, following hurry. him! Again, I was jumping the gun maybe a little bit. Right. Emily is here. Good. Time to say goodbye then, Tom. Not good. Just one by one. Oh, sh Okay, yeah. I mean, it worked. I'll show you how serious I am. <laughs> I'll turn you- uh Oh. Don't land on the dog. Ah, Thomas! shite. Oh, fucking hell.